downtown Tennessee. Okay, and uh, this room doesn't have the, uh, the boost, or rather the train that goes all around the perimeter. The other room to my left, that wall, cool. has the uh, railroad track that goes Great little place, very popular, especially with the older baby boomers. Uh, it's home cooking. A lot of uh, a lot of new stuff here. Silver, the boost, cafe. Okay, we just got served our meal here at the Silver Caboose uh, Cafe. I got the turnip greens, the cheese potatoes, the chicken and dumplings, and cornbread. And Whitney, what'd you get? Chicken Caesar salad. Chicken Caesar salad with what kind of dressing? Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> no croutons. No croutons. Okay, we're gonna dig in and enjoy our home cooked meal here at the Silver Caboose Cafe in beautiful downtown. Uh, if y'all take a look here, this is uh, chicken and dumplings. This looks really, really good. That's a big old, big old dumpling right there. I got a fish out. Look at that. I need a fish. Wow. Oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, oh, by the way, folks, whenever you go out to eat, I know, I know, I'm starting to sound like a broken record. But you gotta take your digestive enzymes. Uh, especially uh, as a baby boomer, uh, sometimes uh, what we eat kinda doesn't sit very well with us. And that's the reason why is because our digestive juices aren't up to par the older we get. So you need a little help, you need a little extra oof. And that's where digestive enzymes come in. Oh no! So I'm gonna be taking mine here pretty soon. Uh, you can take them before you eat, during you eat, or after you eat, just as long as you take them. So anyway, uh, you to enjoy this <laughs> wonderful chicken and dumplings. This is the diet portion size. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. Oh my. This, this is really good. This is kind of like the, the kind your grandmother used to make. Very, very. So he ate it. Tasty. Two thumbs up. Later. Uh, the uh, turnip green is really, really good. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright. Uh. That's disgusting. Anyway, these dumplings are excellent. Very good. And the cheese. The cheese potatoes. Very good. Cornbread, very good. I mean, how can you screw up cornbread? You can't, but this is really good, exceptional. So, I'm gonna finish eating the meal and uh, check y'all later. No! As y'all know, uh, Whitney and I eat out every Thursday or Friday, and I try to eat unhealthy. Now, I know, I know, that sounds a little bit hypocritical coming from someone who's practiced what he teaches for like 45 years, give or take a few decades. Anyway, so today, I fairly healthy. So I'm going to have to balance that out with, hold on. Now what is this, Whitney? Blackberry. Blackberry. I'll lick that off later. Blackberry pie and ice cream. Oh no! Yeah. Sorry, Gary, but uh, <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. So I don't get to eat decadent again until another six or seven days. So, you know, 
I figured I'll work out uh, maybe do a few extra uh, what five or ten extra sit-ups maybe 20 extra push-ups <laughs> right. anyway the food here is great highly recommend it great atmosphere great service people are really friendly um, so next time y'all are in downtown Collierville at the square Make sure you eat at the Silver Caboose the Cafe. Where to come? Ooh, that would be great for traveling. They have uh, these little two servings here. Uh, they got uh, really cool stuff: uh, chicken asparagus casserole. There's chicken tetrazzini. Uh, they got chicken and dumplings. There's Salisbury steak. So you can come in here at the uh, Silver Caboose and uh, get these little two to-go servings, and you heat them up at home in a 350 degree oven, and you're good to go. So, and then of course over here is the. Uh, Decadent area. Very nice. Mmm, con pie. Get some egg salad and pimento cheese and tuna salad, grilled chicken salad, chef salad, all kinds of neat stuff. Here at the Silver Caboose.